Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Sargent 98-0018 outside cylinder hub. This first part of the video will just take some basic dimensional properties of the item. The overall depth or length, I suppose, about an inch and, inch and a quarter. The diameter of the smallest portion of the barrel is about 7 sixteenths. Gets out to about half of an inch. And the overall of these legs looks like it's about three-quarter inch. Uh, weighs about 0 0.045 pound. So almost a twentieth of a pound is the bottom line. Likely made of zinc would be my guess. Yeah, non-ferrous. It's heavy. Um, not stainless steel, for sure. I would go with this being made of zinc. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's talk about why you might use this and then some supporting documentation. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Well, the reason as to why you might use it is because you simply need replacement parts. Here are some images that I have listed or linked to down below, just showing different profiles of the item that will allow you different perspectives. Now, I also have linked to down below a uh, parts manual. Uh, it is a 10-page document, excerpts from the entire parts manual for the 80 series. Uh, outside cylinder hub, it'd be part number two in this drawing, and here it is. Okay, that's obviously going to be part of the transmission or linkage between um, action via the trim or cylinder, whatever's driving it, to activating the latch. Shown in different devices is what this is. And as we scroll through the different pages, you're going to see the different ways in which it's employed based on the different devices that are up at the top of the page. I should have pointed that out. The top of each page has the devices that this is compatible with. 8816, part number 21, there it is. Okay, it's pretty helpful. If you know the device number that you need, great, you can go to that device number. You can do a find function on that uh, service manual for 8816. You'll find all of the instances where it comes into play. And then you're obviously down here looking for the part you need. So part four is probably our 98-0018. Now, where do you find that document? Well, there's the 10-page document that shows just where this shows up, but that might not be the part you're looking for. So to find the entire parts service manual, click on the link below this video to the manufacturer's page here. That will allow you to pull up not only all of the Sargent products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as seen here, the full line catalog, or the most current one as seen here. And I happen to know that the 80 series parts manual is here, the most current one at this time. You can fire that up. It's 168 pages worth of parts drawings for these exit devices. And when I type in 8816, it happens to coincidentally show up 10 times as well. So you can cycle through that document and then search, of course, the parts that you're looking for. Let's wrap up this video on camera. But before we do so, I did want to mention the full line catalog is here. We also have full line catalogs that are almost 100 years old and then well more than 100 years old, almost 150 in one instance. If you want to see what Sargent was making in 1910, there's your catalog. 1877, there's your catalog. That'll take some time to load, so I won't pause this video. Well, I will. I'll pause it, let it load, and show you the cover page. And there's the cover of that 1877 catalog. Who was the president then? Um, it was Garfield in 1880. No, no, no. Oh, gosh. I think Garfield in 1880, he was assassinated. Before him would have been Rutherford B. Hayes, I think. Rutherford B. Hayes, 1877. Let's look. Rutherford... When was he president? He was, 1877 to 1881. Um, I'm thinking before him was Grant. So there you go. 
I've said that president's name to many people, and they said, I've never heard of that president. Um, he was from Ohio, and he was a, um, he was two things that I recall about him. A staunch teetotaler, him and his wife, staunch teetotalers. Number two, was very much in, uh, interested in uh, civil service reform. Um, oh, and education of the underprivileged, that's, that's for sure. So, the 1877 catalog... Here's your cover page, a thousand page document. All those catalogs back then had pretty epic indexes. Hinges, lots of hinges. Hinges that would cost a thousand dollars to replicate today. It can be done. The state capitol building of the uh, in, uh, of Texas has hinges that are in this sort of uh, certainly this Gilded Age period, and they can be reproduced. They are not inexpensive. Pivots, other hinges. As you continue to scroll down, you'll find all sorts of hardware. The Sergeant of 1877 is not the same one today. Uh, you, uh, and what I mean by that is 150 years ago, you would have bought all the hardware you needed for your building from a single manufacturer. Um, Sergeant does not make flush bolts. Um, one of her sister companies does, but Sergeant doesn't. The advantage of buying all your hardware from a single manufacturer was that you could get a uniform finish on everything because this was pre-1930 where there was not the U.S. system of finishes that allowed a standardization of finishes so that a U.S. 10 from Sargent was a U.S. 10 from Corbin. Well, before that, they had all these odd names for things um, that, you know, in my opinion, weren't very descriptive of the finish. If something was called Colombian, I might think, okay, well, it'll be some sort of a brown color. Why? I'm thinking coffee beans. That has nothing to do with what it actually was. Somewhere in this catalog there will definitely be a list of finishes and I won't try to root that out at this time. Anyway, just a fun thing to show you for your reference should you ever want to go on in historical, hardware, archaeological uh, mission. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Priced and sold per piece, this client happened to order three of them. You know, obviously, if you have these exit devices and you have enough volume, enough use or cycles of the door, you know, exit device hardware, like anything else, is simply going to require uh, maintenance, is the bottom line. It's not unusual to have to, you know, change the oil in a car, nor is it unusual to change a wear part like this. What's really helpful is that Sargent is among those domestic manufacturers that does a really great job proactively publishing that information. You have a school district, an airport, a hospital. You're the maintenance director. You need to have someone find these parts, get them going, whole nine yards. You've got life safety issues, fire code matters that need to be attended to when it comes to door hardware. The ability to rely on published parts, uh, diagrams, and excellent technical service, which you get from... Uh, sergeant is why you would make that significant in investment initially in a particular manufacturer and sergeant does an exceptional job at that um, they're really a top tier manufacturer across all facets every time that i interact with their technical support i just have to say these folks possess an expert command over the subject matter they are not just people who answer a phone these are i i believe these people have years of assembly experience, troubleshooting experience, engineering experience, whatever the case might be. Very grateful for that. Any questions on the 98-0018 outside cylinder hub or any other Sargent product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.